Today's video is on a colorful eyeshadow look. This is the eyeshadow look that I created for St. Patrick's Day and I posted a photo on Instagram and I got some requests to recreate the look. So here we go. First up, I'm going to start by double priming my eyelids because I have very oily eyelids. If you do not suffer from that, then this is a step that you can skip. I like to apply the Age Rewind Concealer on top of my eye primer. This concealer actually cancels everything off my dark eyelid and it also will set the eyeshadow perfectly as well as make the eyeshadow pop on the lid. Always set your concealer on your eyelid, that way the eyeshadow that you apply on top will not mix in with the concealer. I'm going to take a shade, I don't recall the brand, it's just random in my magnetic palette. This shade is going to serve as my transition color. So with the bright eyeshadows, I'm going to be working from the very light shades and going up to the dark shades. This shade has green but also hints of yellow in it so it serves a good base before applying any type of a green shade on top. From the BH Cosmetics 88 color palette, I'm going to take the second shade down, which is a very light pale green, and work that into my crease in circular motions. So as each clip starts to go by, you're going to see me start to build up that green color, again going from light to dark, and that's going to create that gradient effect, that look you want to see in your eyeshadow. Here I'm flicking it up on the edge just to create that wing, an eyeshadow base. And I'm going to take the third shade, again going down now deeper in color, and once again circular motions applying that into my crease. When I work with shades in the crease, I tend to start right in the middle of the crease and start to blend out. As you make circular motions, the powder will start to disperse. So if you start in the center, it goes left and it goes right, and you start to blend it in. And flicking it and blending it and deepen it on the outer edge. Fourth shade down now, again, deepening up the crease. Circular motions, you'll start to see the green build up and you'll start to see that gradient effect. pulling the corner into the inner eyelid as well. And I don't know, I'm the only one that feels this way, but it feels so good to massage the eye crease. I'm pulling it up higher also towards above the crease because I'm going to put a shade right under the brow bone. I'm going to use the same colors going from light to dark as I did for the eyelid crease, excuse me. I'm going to apply the same shades on my lower lash line. I'm pulling the color up to meet with the edge of the wing on my top lid. Again, deepening up, increasing the color on the lower lash line, going from light green to dark. Now I'm going to take a yellow shade and swirl circular motions right underneath my eyebrow. Now my brows are not done, so I can mess them up as much as I want. Now I'm going in again to the deepest shade in the green family and buffing and swirling that into the crease to further deepen it up. Once again, pulling that dark shade out to the outer edge of the eyelid. I'm 
and that socket part right there oh that feels so good when you massage it <laughs> i must be the only one and also deepen up the lower lash line and once again pulling that color up to meet the outer v and let's take a blending break that's what it should look like once you're all done now we're going to apply some more color now we're going to go into a vibrant peacock blue and that's going to serve as my lid shade pack that on with a dense brush swirl on the outer edge and start to blend that in with the green Make sure you buff and blend out any type of harsh lines on the outer edge as well as on the inner eyelid. When you want to blend two shades together, remember to do it in a circular motion. That will help diffuse the color. Now I'm going to pull that same blue shade, teal blue, on the lower lash line and build up that color with the green. gold coins at the end of the leprechaun's rainbow and apply that as my tear duct shade. Next is mascara and I like this idea of using that vibrant blue once again on the lower lash line just as a fun pop of color and something different than black. I'm going to use regular black mascara on the top lashes. Now you can wipe away any excess color as far as how far down you'd like it on your lower lash line and then sharpen up your V. And there is the look with just mascara in case you don't like false eyelashes. And here it is with false eyelashes. Now that was just the eyes and more tutorials to come also with full face. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next video. Goodbye.